Hi everyone, I'm Ben Mims, cooking columnist at the LA Times. I'm here with my friend Daniel Hernandez, and today we're doing the great grocery guacamole taste test. So obviously guacamole, everyone loves it. Everyone has their own recipe for it. We're gonna try 12 different ones to see which one's worth your money. Guacamole is like a pretty recent thing in the United States. It converged really with the rise of the tortilla chip. In the last 20 years or so, people are just getting really into it and trying all different weird things with their guacamole, which yeah. is really kind of like the only way that you can consume an avocado besides, you know, dressing it or, yeah. or spreading it on toast, like you everyone does. It on toast, exactly, which yes. everyone does, thing, which is a very <laughs> new thing. Yes. It's the last like decade or so. Yeah. So before we get started with the taste test, I think it's important to say that obviously making it yourself, it's always best and making it fresh. Uh, number two is if you're gonna buy some, support your local Mexican restaurants. But third option, get it from your grocery store. If it's, especially if you are like me, you're in the grocery store, you're starving, and you're like, I need guacamole now. What was your process in getting these all together and selecting them and laying them out the way that you have? So I just like went around to uh, probably like two dozen grocery stores in uh, the city just to try to find what I thought was like the best mix of like top 12. Uh, best mix of, of grocery store guacamole to try. Some have like crazy ingredients like kale, some use lemon wow. juice, some have habanero chilies, but most are like pretty classic. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of order these from like super classic, kind of getting into a weird crazy air like who thought of that who thought that would be good right and then we'll kind of get down the line to some kind of like wild cards and we'll talk about interesting why those are there as well uh, this is from Vallarta it's their classic guacamole it's my personal favorite so I'm a little biased on this one I think we have to do it authentically and eat straight from the container let's don't do you, it don't you agree I'm down A little limey. Mm -hmm. um, I personally don't like tomato and avocado. And oh, interesting. Guacamole, so that's a huge debate. People are very passionate about their ingredients. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna go for like a quick store bought, I think this is a good option. It might maybe Agreed. throw a little more salt on top actually of this once you get home, maybe. Sometimes it needs to be a little saltier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Thumbs up or thumbs down on this one. So the next one is still Vallarta again, but this is their spicy one. So we're gonna see if it's actually spicy. Okay. I've actually never tried it. So we're gonna see if it's really spicy or they just claim that, you know what I'm saying? You were saying Serrano is, uh, you know, it's it's necessary. You need it in yours, right? I agree, yeah. Not spicy at all. Not spicy at all. You taste the, no. the chili pepper, like the greenness of the Serrano, but so you think this is good, still good, or bad because it's not how uh, it claims? This is a decent store-bought guacamole, but it's not spicy. Not spicy at all. And um, in some places, in some kitchens in Mexico, you might get something that's like, like you're fiery. breathing fiery spice yeah, absolutely. in your guacamole, and that's also okay if you can get into that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just because it's not spicy. Agreed. So the next guacamole up is from Whole Foods. This is interesting because it's avocados and then they just mix in pico de gallo. Oh, this clearly has like a more like, it's been like almost blitzed a little bit, like the pieces of avocado are super tiny and it's kind of mashed, mm. so. See, I was so curious and I'm still kind of um, not understanding what's happening here. Too much cilantro or too much, so I could- Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the jalapeno? Maybe it's the jalapeno. But it's, it's very dominant. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Tough critics, but we, this matters, you know what I'm saying? All right, so next we have Ralph's, and this one has Serrano chili, okay. uh, but it also has um, powdered onion. So we'll see if powdered that makes a difference. Powdered onion, yes. okay. This looks very creamy. It's very pasty, very like, smooth. Pasty, salty, mm -hmm. overly, um, there's an artificial quality to this that I can't really locate. Hold yeah, on. it has a little bit of a green flavor again as well. It tastes almost sandy to me, I'm sorry. Sandy, interesting. <laughs> that got a smooth, pasty, but also sandy texture. Uh, so I think I know what we're gonna do yeah. here. All right, so our next one is from Gelson's, and this one has all the classic fresh ingredients, but then this has granulated garlic. So we're getting to this like powdered aromatics Interesting. phase again. Well, sometimes you just 
want to just get that in onion flavor in there very quickly or the garlic flavor. <laughs> I think lime really saves the day in, in, in almost any dish. You got to venture a little bit into the heat zone, I think, mm -hmm. in guacamole for it to really kind of pop and be memorable. Absolutely. And because avocados are so fatty, it takes a lot of like salt and a lot of chili to really cut through because yeah, it can really kind of deaden that flavor. This is not bad. So, what do you think? Good? I think so too. I'd buy this. Um, avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, jalapeno, and serrano, mm -hmm. lime and sea salt and garlic. Everything's organic. That's Let's talk about says. the price. It's like around $10, $11, so it's a little pricier. I think the chili that you choose really is important. It's not mm -hmm. common to, for example, see an habanero in a guacamole. Yeah. I think serrano for me is the one that you want to go with. Yeah. A lot of American taste buds though, however, lean towards the jalapeno. I yeah. think jalapeno just has, you know, a different kind of flavor that yeah. doesn't hit it for me really, but let's yeah. see. All right, we'll see. They use both here, so we'll see if the combination is correct. Savory. Limey. And a lot of lime. <laughs> It's the secret. There's something very savory about Erwan's mm, guacamole okay. that I can't figure out what it is. Mm. Maybe it's too much garlic, mm. but I'm not sure. I, don't, I do um, taste mostly chili, which is so, not bad, I guess, for me. It's not nice and... I'm gonna have to say... Oh, a house divided. I like this, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll, I'll buy this. <laughs> So the next one, we're still sticking with Erwan. I had to try this one because it's guacamole, but it has kale in it. And not oh. just one type of kale, but two types of kale. What? Go figure. This is avocado, black and green kale, onion, lemon, so no lime, salt, and garlic. It has no chili, so this we'll see. If... I don't get it. <laughs> Let's see. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a kale salad yeah. with like a lemon juice vinaigrette. You should just increase the kale here by 80% and call it salad. I mean, it doesn't really... Mm, interesting. I don't hate this, I don't love it, but I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to go down. I'm gonna go down, but yeah. Now we're at the Trader Joe's portion of the taste test. I found the two kind of like all natural guacamoles um, that they carry. And strangely, usually when you buy like company brand uh, guacamole, it has, like I said, all these weird acids and stabilizers in them. These two did not, or this one did not. So we're gonna try this first one. It's called Avocados Number One Number Guacamole. This has avocados and vinegar with jalapenos. And again, dehydrated onion and dehydrated garlic. Looks really smooth. Straight out the gate. Strangely smooth. It's like a- Strangely smooth. Ooh, that's weird. Uh, there's no salt in it that I can gather. I don't taste any spice, any lime or any onion. It doesn't taste much. like vinegar, but it tastes not correct. I feel like some of these want to get away with poor taste because they assume people are actually going to spread it on something or do something true, else. True, true, true. Use it as some kind of a base, but this is yeah, not. Not good for just eating out the container. So here's the second Trader Joe's guacamole I found. Chunky spicy. So we have avocados, tomatoes, then we have red pepper, which I find strange. I don't understand why that's in there. Onions, cilantro, jalapenos, and serranos, sea salt, arbol chilies, garlic, and then lime juice concentrate. Okay, so chile de árbol. Yeah, again. we're back to the concentrate question. Yep. Chile de árbol is an interesting addition here. Interesting. So smooth again from the start. Mm. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't hate it except for the red peppers. I don't like red bell peppers. There's something very vegetal about this. I would eat it if someone gave it to me at a party. It's balanced, I would eat it. It's balanced. So what do you think? Oh, wow, okay. So the next one we have is from Lassen's, which is kind of like a health-focused natural foods mm. store, as they say. So this one also comes with kind of like a pico de gallo on top, so I feel like I need to stir this in because it looks like it's just avocado underneath. And Lassen's is fancy, right? I mean, we're talking- Lassen's is a little fancy. This is around like $10 as well for okay. this package of guacamole. I like the chunky quality to yeah. this. Um, not too pasty. Some that we've seen that were a little kind of too pasty or That's milky. True. Oh, <laughs> I'm nervous there for a second. I thought I'm gonna be left out to dry. <laughs> this is not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Ah. Our penultimate guacamole is from Bristol Farms, and so this one's interesting because it has sweet onions 
It also has habanero chilies. Okay. So let's see if those make a difference. See how spicy it is. Um, I feel like I don't like the habanero, how yeah. it feels on the aguacate, yeah. you know? Well, also this has the sweet onions. So I feel like it's like, it's very fruity. Mm, that might sweet be Sweet onions, the habanero. Yeah, unfortunately no. So for our last guacamole, I know we talked a lot about not buying company brand and getting like store-bought deli fresh, but actually when you go to Ralph's, they sell Herdez. And if you look at the ingredients on here, mm. Everything's all natural. There's avocados, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and we have salt, lime juice, and serrano peppers. So it's a little half smooth, half chunky. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> really packed in there, a lot mm -hmm. of color, a lot of pieces of... Ooh. Oh, there's actual avocado. You can tell the, the strings. The string, stringy texture. Yeah, it's pretty part. chunky as well as smooth. There's flavoring in this that doesn't need to be there, I feel. Mm. So wild how you can have all the... Mm -hmm. Ingredients there, but it kind of tastes muted. If I can use a little salt, more lime juice. Mm -hmm. Maybe more lime, yeah. Yeah, could be worse. Maybe add a little salt, add a little could lime be juice. Worse. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, really? Well, I mean, I think it's. I would just for store bought guacamole. I, for store bought, I would eat it. You know? Okay. I would not not eat it. This is our like top four. I would say. Would you agree that we think you know if it's. If you're at a grocery store, you need guacamole, you could do a lot worse than getting these four, I think, right? I agree, I mean, yeah. again, there's so much variety, literally down to the carnicero that you have on the corner, mm -hmm. um, up to places like Erewhon and like Gelson's and so on, are gonna have just a range of different interpretations of this Absolutely. kind of really glorious dish because you can really do anything mm -hmm. with this dip, but like, don't get too crazy. Yeah, exactly, as we <laughs> noticed, like, keep it pretty classic. Add some chili in there, it's really great. I think so, yeah. So I think our, our, our top four, Bayarda, Gelson's, uh, Lassen's, and then Erewhon. One of the Erewhon's. One right. of the Erewhon's, right. the classic right. one, yeah, exactly. I'm very surprised, but I am. these are pretty good. Yeah. So thank you for coming to like, taste these guacamoles with me. It's really fun. <laughs> Add something to the store-bought guacamoles. They're gonna get so offended. Oh, oh my, my God, that's God. hilarious. They're gonna hate us. <laughs> <laughs>